Good afternoon. Welcome everyone to another Shaftasic TV stream. What do we have today? Um, I think I've read on Twitter it's a TV two talk. Oh, they're, they're, and do you even have Twitter? Second, yeah, I think I I read like something from the back of my head TV two tournament. Uh, it's the second part of a qualifier somehow, and Artisan is very kind and supporting this event as well. Um, this is what I what I know from the top of my head. So yeah, this is what we are into, or what we have uh, on the menu for today. Nice. Um, we're currently setting up the lobby with the first match as well. Yeah, and um, this being part two. This that mm. meant or that means that there was also a part one. Um, just as the dual masters, uh, the two v two is uh, played according a Swiss system. Uh, so we'll have four matches today, and we already had four matches. Um, yeah. Every next round, we'll take your previous result. Uh, into account of the seating of your next match and i'm going to switch scenes i hope it is the right one yes so this is the current uh, standings very current <laughs> yes uh Faye and Genso above all them all yeah, they are probably, un and undoubtedly, uh, one of the biggest favorites to take this one completely. But below that, well, and you never know how things develop, right, in the finals tournament. You kind of have a bad day and get knocked down or whatever. But I think, and the bracket kind of shows it, below that we have a very, very tight um, competition going on. We have a lot of teams with one loss and a lot of teams with two losses. And as you've seen, despite having two losses Balmos generation have the same points so they always take them up from their opponents when losing and yeah now it's all about the seeding for the finals tournament so if you take first seed you'll play eighth seed which is kind of nice get an easy start a good warm-up into the tournament and then you'll progressively ramp it up towards the end in hardness but yeah, we are starting out on rank 2, Kill Zero against Bomos Generation. And we have a lot of other games to come. We'll see how they are developing and which interesting matchups we are going to, to show. Uh, towards the end of the day, we are probably going to switch towards the team that is going to fight for the qualification. As in, who is going to get 8th place. <laughs> to see that happening, of course. But yeah, as of now. We are going to start with picks and bands, I hope soon at least. Yeah, I uh, already got a link, so let's uh, put that in the machine. They already decided what the first map is going to be. Molten Falls. Pop out chat. Yay. All mouse generation is so long that it uh, doesn't fit. <laughs> yeah, just cut it short and put BMG. <laughs> yeah. If they uh, choose these weird names. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's see if all mouse gen fits. 
We have no blood covenant, no molten, f no ruins. We have molten falls. Oh wait, I should. You should. Not use kill zero's link and just change it to spec. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, because then you have the risk of. Uh... Yeah. Oh, you wanted to play clutch, really? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Um, talking about champions already. Uh, we have spiced it up with a little difference in the pick and ban system compared to the most other tournaments. So you're banning four champions for the entire series and then you pick champions for the map. So you're not allowed to change mid map and there are no champions allowed to be played on a, twice on the same map. So no team can go Anarchy Strog, for example. It's not possible. We will have to see four different champions but once the map is over, the champions are up for picks again. Because in, in we don't have that much champions, then <laughs> we can block them all. That would mean like we have basically zero <laughs> left for... Or maybe we don't even have enough left. So we have eight... We lose yeah, 16 champions. One, two, three, four... It's 16 perfectly, right? Yeah, so if we would not allow the champions to be repicked after the first map, we would end up with zero champions and we would see some incredibly odd matches. And this is also not the goal of the rule, so yeah. <laughs> Aside from Artisan sponsoring this mousepad, uh, this mousepad, of course, yes. No, but this tournament, uh, you can support it by typing exclamation mark sponsor and contribute whatever you feel like this will go 100% towards the players um, we don't keep anything for us and currently we are sitting at 108 Swiss francs which is roughly the same in euro not that big difference at the moment, but a little bit. And the champion pick bands is now completely supported by the pick ban or app, or do we need to do the rest uh, in the lobby like last time? Yeah, unfortunately, the technology for that is not there yet, so we will do the first map. And the re uh, here and the rest has to be done in the, the yes in the in-game chat. So we have Strog Band, Slash Band, and Nixon Ranger Band. Slash is a no-brainer ban, kinda for Molten, depending on your opponent and Killer and the Zero. Certainly Killer for one. Um, the Zero, not so much, he only plays a limited amount of VQ3 champions, is a no-brainer. Actually, it's Kill Zero banning it themselves, so being more safe than sorry. And yeah, Bormos generation now goes for the Anarchy, which I was surprised that this one has been left open, even in regards to Exile as well. Um, yeah, Bormos generation picks Visor first, then Kill Zero pick Anarchy and Galena. Decent team, they will have a lot of HP to fight with. And now, yeah, there's not much left to match the speed of the Anarchy, unless you play Clutch. You could go for Solag, but if your opponent starts on Rail Control, good luck. Yeah. And the four bands, they uh, are for the whole series? Yes, they are for the whole series. Yeah, and as you can see, they are not very certain on what to pick. And I think the BJ is probably the best idea just to, like, yeah, just so you have damage to f meet the increased stack you will be facing, courtesy to the, the Galena, of course, and the Anarchy. Now on to Awoken.
Okay. D0 and Killer now picking the first champion for Awoken, which is indeed the Aizen. Nice in the turret. Uh, we have six viewers on YouTube and five likes. So there is one person who is currently yeah. watching <laughs> and, <It's me>. uh, <laughs> and, 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 and didn't give a like. <laughs> Yesterday we had like, I think, 30 viewers on YouTube, which I think is kind of nice. Uh, cool. Ah, now we have six viewers and seven likes. Okay. So Visa BJ, it is for Bomber's generation, leaving the Ranger open. That's kind of interesting, which would be a good tool to like get past Eisen's turret for free, right? Mm -hmm. With the orb on a power up play or pre power up even. But I think with v uh, Visor and BJ, the game plan is to set up there beforehand anyway. So not going for Ranger might be a decision based on strategy rather than on a certain circumstance regarding someone's ability. And it's the Anarchy again for Kill Zero. So we have the fast champion in the hands of Killer twice. He likes them a lot. He likes to keep the pace up as much as he can. Now for Exile, it is indeed Bomber's generation picking Sad Eisen, which probably results in um, Kill Zero going for the Anarchy again, and maybe even a Galena, but also a DK, a Ranger, or a BJ could be devastating on. Exile, as well as Sawleg. Yeah. Very curious to see. We have seen a few kills as well, but I doubt we'll see that here. Yeah, I, I would say that Anarchy is is a bit of an off pick, right? On, on, Awoken, on the, yeah. On the Exile. Yeah, but also, no, on Awoken, like for 2v2, uh, it has been made famous by... <laughs> Um, by my brother. <laughs> How is he called again? Sirius. Yes, thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay, central is fine. Okay, central, gentle, checked. Let's go. Bam. Um, yeah, for the viewers at uh, Twitch, uh, you still have uh, until the second minute mark. The second minute mark? Yeah, this, which <laughs> so is... So we have the first minute mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then there is a second one. Yeah. The, the second the, the, two minutes in i'll stop the prediction no it, no it was correct i <laughs> yeah. was just yeah. making uh just making uh, a breakfast reference here okay uh i did select center right. there we go Yeah, and the nice thing about YouTube is that you can just, like, put it in pause, go to the toilet, go back, or rewind. It's, the technology is great. Uh, 
<laughs> Why do I have confetti? Uh, does this still work? I have names, right? There we go. Redcon, Redcon, maybe. I don't think Redcon is playing. Prepare your team. Your face into the Redcon. pavement. Round begins in. Yeah, Three. let's see what Killer does Two. on Anarchy. One. Fight. Now that you shot all the confetti. Whoa. Oh. And Visor immediately says, I will not hide from you, or you can't hide from me, rather, and spams Anarchy almost to death with a rocket launcher just to be finished off by Redcon. And now it's the zero in a 1v2. He gets a trade, and this is a big win, if you ask me. He should get the flag in that fight. Anarchy lean prevents the inevitable a bit longer, but the zero is there for the, the refrag just in time. Oop. Dual setup on the shotgun, uh, heavy spawn, so yeah, we see how much these teams prioritize their railgun. Like, they forget everything on the map just to be there, just to have position on that item. I see. And yeah, let's see what, what Rexon can do. Yes, shotgun only, yeah, but two of them, well, and gets blown out of his life. So it is railgun control for the zero. Redcon off the spawn, tries to challenge it immediately in the 1v2. And falls again as Killer is just holding back, keeping the rail. He didn't fire a single shot, but from Killer's POV, you can see two totems are up already. Yeah, but no, <laughs> Redcon doesn't uh, spot it. Does have a weapon advantage if the Shiro isn't able to uh, hit the rails, but it doesn't really matter. Killer from the portal position uh, takes revenge while well, we have the first squad Impressive. let's see not the healthiest no he's making his way over to lg trying to get the reheal from the totems and is at least back to 100 hp so the rail of redcon and little hawk is not as threatening as it was a few seconds ago but basically all than one frag that was all the power up run gave them but at least it didn't go into the hands of a fully stacked visor or bj could have been devastating and in a 1v2 to zero gets a frag while Killer is maintaining control over Mega Health area. He has decent weaponry, so he doesn't really need to pick up that much more. He just needs to be in good positions and try to do that. Gets a lot of damage, but his teammate is there to save the day. Little Hog, on the other hand, can't really return fire. He has gotten them low, but that's all there is. Lost. Oh, and someone does dislike the anarchy. Shooting the corpse. <laughs> yeah, let's I see mean, what Little Hawk can do. Yeah, maybe he's just uh, angry because he can't play it. Teams oh, are maybe. Oh, Little Hawk can't help his teammate. Heavy is in 15 seconds about to spawn. He's alone in, in that area. He can't really fight. He's dropping into the shotgun of the zero as well. So this should spell heavy armor for kill zero. And indeed it does. Rains a little bit of chip damage down with the shotgun and courtesy to the last patch, that even is a viable strategy and he beats them both in 1v2 Excellent. just with the sort of shotgun. Yeah, what can you say? Yeah, this hero had a little bit trouble uh, walking through the portal. He just also goes back and finds Steph. <laughs> Little Hawk takes it over. Not the healthiest again, but uh, yeah, is able to spot his enemy wide in the open while he uses piercing sight. <laughs> so he was extra sure that he knew where his enemy was. Yeah, so he didn't really going on an adventure because of his stack but uh, to choose situation to be aggressive yeah it's a frack anyway and waits heavy for himself oh another frack yeah he has so much stack to deal with but not enough to 
soak up the damage from the super shotgun. His teammate uh, shows up though, so it is still a 2v1. Or two frag against one. Yeah, and so far we we are, it's it's the uh, never-ending story of that map. It feels like yeah, it's Fight it's for it, air control. <laughs> yeah, it 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 looks like Counter Strike. This map, <laughs> like yeah. just hold the angle. And it's not even that there are a lot of angles where you can like try and bait someone in to hold it with rail and then punish it with tribal or something. Dual wheel gets popped immediately blown up. So that's not going to be a play for the next power up. Both of them are incredibly weak. The zero though with a shotgun and the 50 bubble. Now with a mega as well, has decent stack, but a good rocket to rail. Puts him on hold, he needs to be careful, and Little Hawk ends the quad run for now. It is indeed killer though, following his teammate step to step, picking it up, but nothing for it. Decent chip damage with the HMG, but his teammate gets 1v2, and killer can't get a footing with these quads yet. No successful runs so far. No, and like a, it, time. He, he was basically uh, frozen in place, not really uh, daring to show his face. So he looked purple, but uh, didn't get him anything. Yeah, he doesn't really have the stack to uh, go into a fight, so his teammate dies, and he can do nothing about it. Yeah, this is something that Momo's generation have been doing a very good job at, like chipping away the anarchy stack right from the spawn and a beautiful combo frag by Kill Zero now as they just hit two rails at the same time, crossing the beams. Gets a refrag from Little Hawk though, but Kill Zero is that upgraded and now 30 seconds for the power up. Heavy is slightly beforehand, but I doubt we'll see a heavy pickup and then a rotation over to the protection. Redcon gets another threat. Little Hawk also wins Stop his one on one. So all the weapons are stripped, but Kill Zero spawn over at the rail. This is very good for them. But let's see what Redcon can do as he oh, is the God. one. <laughs> well, he had a lot of stag. As soon as I switch, he decides to drop into a rail and the Zero actually gets two frags there. Uh, who is at the court? Killer with big stag and nobody was there. And I was saying, fighting for heavy beforehand could mean you lose out on. Pentagram and indeed it happens and this is a good power up run already for killer better than the previous two combined let's see what he can do still has stack to fight the 1v2 both of them get the frag in the end to zero there to help his teammate gets the heavy but no stack for him so he still falls to little hawk's rail and this power-up swung momentum a lot. They yeah. <laughs> got the lead back with it as well as decent item control beforehand. Kept it with the power-up as well. And now it's a really tough mountain to climb for Bomo's generation. Yeah, I, I think they need to give uh, the energy as much armor as they are possible to. But it doesn't happen actually. Because like, like when he had the pentagram, he was worth so much. The speed, the agility. Four frags difference, closing in on the nine minute mark. This is... A very close map, 6 minutes to go, 20 seconds, 25 seconds until quad. And Killer is on life support, basically for 10 minutes. He had a decent protection run. Yeah. And now with the light armor he maybe can fight, but if he gets it by a shot, he's out for contention. So, let's see what happens. Oh, the hero gets 1v2, but both of Bomber's generation are not super healthy. Killer with decent stack, unless 
it gets eaten away by an HMG. We might see another killer quad run. And quad spawn. Nobody's there to pick it up. Redcon in the end decides to grab it. Oh. Out of the map with edge. Okay. He was too weak. His teammate also was very weak. And given... Yeah, they both both respawned on rail. So it was a one-to-one -one trade or two-to-one trade for Kill Zero. But no power-up for them. And... We have indeed a tied game now. The zero again is being one to eight. Five minute warning. But killer is there in time to get a refrag on the weak little hawk. And yeah. Galena and Anarchy seem to work as well together as BJ and yeah. Visor. We but, have a but, very but, close game. It's also that everyone just sticks at their own corner. Yeah. And whenever we see a 1v2 emerge, there is like the urge from the other team to immediately get that one back. As we see Redcom being 1v1, a 1v2, then Lil Hawk tried to came to rescue, get like pick over, pick over, pick over. And he got a frag back. Redcon also got a frag onto the zero, but he's very weak. 25 HP. Make that 50. And actually, he's probably one of the mo more healthier players on the server currently. The zero shines in as well, and Lil Hawk removes three people from the map. <laughs> Enough of that shenanigan here. Now Lil Hawk in one v two again. Yeah, he gets a mega home. Yeah, but he still falls. Yeah. Games are tied. So, uh, he's up. Little Hawk gets it, and he <laughs> stares through the sky and uh, hits a double whammy, getting two kills. And now the red gone. It's a decent stack, and the pentagram. Little Hawk is found by this hero, though. But it's a three for a game. And yeah, Little Hawk. Uh, well, little hog, I'm saying. Redcon hasn't read the patch notes. He's using well run on ranges where the shotgun is now begun to use. Orange is the new green. At least they are kind of complementary <laughs> in terms of colors. Fairly decent run, but nothing too devastating. It started on Mega Health, it ended on Mega Health. Item control seems to be in firm grasp of bonus generation for now. Good damage with the tribal and then the follow up by Killer's Rail, but they are tad to late for Heavy, so Redcorp sneaks it away below their noses, despite Little Hawk falling, they are still five frags up. Six frags is what they need. Going, given by how slow this game went, we might not even see you reach the frag limit. Little Hawk vacates the area, Redcorp falls. And yeah, Killer tries to make it a 1v2, it's too late though, and then knows that he needs to fail. Yes, BJ was fine. Oh, heavy denial, but nothing more in it. He actually falls and hands over the zero rail. Let's see what the Galena can do. Yeah, Little Hawk's still alive, uh, but gets killed by uh, the zero in the end. Takes position on the Mega Health. He hasn't been spot yet. Oh, <laughs> he, he gets spotted in the end and just dies instantly. He, he did deny the Mega Health, so maybe that's yeah, something that he had going. Redcon is not super stacked, but then Killer also falls and gets found again. Now with the rail hit. And Redcon with it. Oh, the Killer with the clutch HMG. And now with the quad run, which might turn their destiny around. He is finding one, but it ends here as shotgun to rail from Redcon to Little Hawk finish it off and what could have been a very, very entertaining comeback with a quad run is, well, kind of stuffed. Just <laughs> there and then in the boneyard in a 1v2 situation, Killer finds his master in Bormo's generation. Yep. Close uh, map all the way through, I would uh, say. And, um, 
The bank is getting 10 lightning bolts. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, if I remember correctly, the next map is... Uh, uh, Tiebreaker will be... Excel. And let's see. Yeah, for Awoken. We have... Eyes and Anarchy for kill zero. So Anarchy stays. And another deployment champion will be in play. <coughs> and it's the Visor BJ again for <laughs> Redcon and Little Orc. So they yeah, they are they are very very keen on the Visor playing it on all three maps in that best of three. But now this is not their map of choice, so we will see how well. Killer and Day Zero are able to bounce back from that first game. <sighs> I still think Pfizer is a little bit of an interesting choice on the Vulcan. Yeah, it's a pocket pick, but so is Anarchy, kinda. going on here now. Yeah, predictions are live on the Twitch until the two minute mark. Killer again with a railgun in hand and the anarchy. Jumping around, dealing a lot of damage to Bomber's generation. The Zero now can actually just run in and finish it off, and he tries to do so, but gets punished. Almost loses his life, but late taken it is. 1 HP on the eyes, and then Bomos Generation 1 to finish him off. Managed to do it, the, so the starting machine gun sings the song of death. But still no railgun, and the turret is on the stair, so it can't be spammed from the rockets, but as soon as you approach the railgun, it will latch onto you. And you'll have a bad time. Also, it will be seeing power-ups, so this is actually a very decent spot on the stairs. Um, from the ball mouse generation, recognizing uh, what the enemy team is doing, not really going out of the way, because they will certainly find that, but that is what Redcon meets. For a second time now, we have uh, Little Hawk from the other side attacking successfully. Quad spawn. Quad damage. Quad still going to Killer and gets the Mega Health. So, really decent stack to go ham, especially after uh, getting the heavy. Get some air! And we're back at uh, square one. Timmy gets deployed. And they are happy campers on this spot. Finally. Oh, he took on a five frag deficit. <laughs> but now, with a railgun on their side and in their control, they seem to claw it back. Redcon has decent stack. Let's see what the man can do. 
Lacking LG, but that's all he's lacking. And now he's lacking the railgun as he just jumps in and gets punished for that very optimistic move. Guru is starting machine gun, does its job on the Eisen. Bye bye, knowing he was railed from his teammate, gets a frag, but it's still killer. Putting on a show, having a eight frags, only dying twice. The man is the spearhead of kill zero right now. Having a good shield in day zero, to be honest, as well. And it's a two to one ratio between the frags of almost generation in favor of kill zero they need to make a comeback happen but just the jump and the rocket jump retcon it's not going to be there for the power up or is he blind signs them both cleans house and gets the power up for somewhat free major items are about to spawn as well but he won't reduce them Cost them a lot of stack. The zero falls to a direct rocket. It's the anarchy though, trying to utilize the stack he still had. Inject use, nothing, nothing there for him, but death. And so, well, the power up run will end. It was a good play from Little Hog as well to maintain control over heavy area. So they got both major items, which allows them to kind of force fights or keep control over railgun or at least take it back little hawk is kind of weak but redcon still is in fighting condition heavy is about to spawn and little hawk just looks to block their Cats pathway the bag. well redcon the was and it does so little hawk grabs the item finishes off the killer as well and we could see the game being tied up anytime soon a 1v2 killer now Gets the frag onto Little Hawk and now it's a 1v2 again and actually kills Hero Clutch it. Let's see what Killer can do as he sets up in a 1v1 onto Little Hawk and finds death again through the hands of the railgun. And yeah, the pushes from the blind side kind of have been swings of momentum, but more so the railgun and retcon, retcon's hand, it seems like. At least getting two frags there back to back. Uh, they're now uh, standing their ground on the, the real gun position. Yeah, they're probably not even going to contest Mega now. Just venture out a little bit, grab some items. Heavy is yours. If, if they learned a lesson, they they <laughs> will stay. Okay, heavy's oh. not yours. And they actually give away the yeah. to the anarchy as well. And Killer not only gets the railgun, but also a frag. Yeah, the, the, the mistake was that they both went for the same person yeah. and, and then the other side was not protected anymore yeah because little hog also wasn't too healthy didn't have lg he could have pushed in to take that fight comfortably on any range so killer got free position on the power up and now a little trading nothing too bad but killer again with this somewhat decent stack power up in his hands good switch to the shotgun there gets another frag and puts his team back into the lead with the dying seconds of the power up and a 1v1 against retcon nothing there for him dual wheel starting machine gun is it but spawns perfectly at the hmt and immediately retaliates but little hawk face dividends with a railgun so does retcon and yeah as soon as the team spawns over there it seems to get a few tracks advantage in the trades over the other team every time retcon pummel into railgun cleans house removes kill zero from the net entirely gets the heavy for it but still no lg it's not too bad if you have hmgs given the new hmg is pretty strong even on mid ranges as well Ooh, nice rails from killer blocks the bounce pad and another one hits and a third one in a row retcon has found his master with that weapon and kill and duel with starting machine gun again is it we have still 29 seconds this is just fighting for railgun this is not for power up or item this is just for railgun everything well now it's kill zero again but uh yeah retcon doesn't really have the time to wait for mega a good play would be try to fight and if it doesn't work fall back and pick it up 
but his teammate picked it up. Protection on the Aizen and they clean house again. Two Frex still trailing. Let's see what the Zero can do. He has the power up in hand. Heavy spawn behind him. He doesn't even need it. Almost gets ringed out. But no follow up. Pushback from Redcon. Also no follow up from anything. And it's a 1v2. Redcon removes himself from the map. 31 to 30. The Zero gets Little Hog and they find Redcon off the spawn again. But no, the tracking for Redcon. Wow. That was perfect. The Zero almost lost that 1v1. And Little Hawk bounces back, gets killer as well. Let's follow the sweet for a little bit. Sweet, sweet. As he gets a lot of damage, loses out on the heavy. Both of the Balmas generation players are kind of weak, so Railgun is their best hope. Little Hawk falls, but Red Hawk is there to trade him. But it doesn't end. Little Hawk is just straight into a 1v2. Going forward and Redcon again picks up the leftover. Desiru is weak. Little Hawk could finish him off, but a uh, Redcon could finish him off. But I think he took a rocket from either Desiru or Killer, and it doesn't happen. So now let's see what Killer can do. Railgun in hand, and they need to make the comeback. Heavy just lost. Desiru picked it up with no health and immediately died. Killer though trade the rail you with Redcon. Got a band -aid or something. Little Hawk. Is there to save his teammate? The Zero wants to finish it off, can't get the frag pushing forward. And yeah, the Zero is. They are trying to finish off the weak players a lot, but I think they sometimes. Both of the teams actually tend to overextend, which is ending up cost. and which ends up costing them more than it gives them. Yeah, they exposed themselves while chasing. Okay, Quad is uh, there for the taking. Ooh, this is uh, an expensive uh, missing out on the uh, Quad yeah. by the ball mouse yet. And this is not going to come. It would be the best to trade it to the enemy, but given he's also not super healthy, they are hesitant and I can understand it. The Zero gets a frag nonetheless. But that's all she wrote. Killer also falls. Redcon in a trade. The dying seconds on the court will be in Little Hawk's hands. And he gets a shot onto the Anarchy with it. But that's all she wrote. Three frags difference. Nice trap from the zero. But still loses the 1v1. <laughs> Little Hawk's LG was just devastating. The man didn't miss, really. <laughs> Heavy in two seconds. This red gun, a little Hulk, is covering the other one. Dinner uh, stops his life away. and takes the mega health. Whoa. Puts the hero in. Stopping really has been hitting towards the end, like, yeah, and I've got to say, Awoken, Balmos Generation looked a lot, a lot better than they looked on Molten Falls. Maybe they should reconsider what they are picking, shouldn't they? And so the first series of today ends in a 2-0. Bomber's generation take a big step forward to get one of the top seedings in the upcoming finals tournament. So let's enter some results. Yep. It's uh, the administration part of running a tournament.
Yeah, retcon is a little bit of a real horror. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to do some result entering for uh, now. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to have a very short day. Oh, we still have three matches to go. Yeah, but half of the teams can't read. So they didn't show up. Hmm. I can. The good thing is I can set them to like. I can let a team give up the entire tournament. So the team that just appeared to disappear yesterday, like on the first day as well. I'll just remove them from the tournament. If the rest is not going to play, then... I'll do the same. Because so far I have no answers of them. I've checked it twice. Everyone has the roles they need to see, see the notification. Right now. Hmm. I need to do some administrating stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we can take five. Yeah, we'll take five minutes to sort stuff out. And then we'll jump uh, into the next match. See you guys in five minutes.
Hello, we are back. Uh, unfortunately, I, yeah, well, they are gamers. Like I, I wanted to blame the sun, but um, we have a few teams uh, not showing up today. Um, so what we are trying to do is to forfeit the teams that are not there today, uh, so we can just use the Swiss system to find opponents for the next round. But that still has to happen. So Lycorvenius is frantically moving his mouse and typing. Ah, I see it is happening. Nice. So we're just waiting on one last result. Okay. And then I think, I don't even know if you can get it in next round because we basically have eight teams left. I mean, we still have some ties, so we need to play at least a few maps, but I'm... In... I honestly want to go on a rant about Quakers, but I'll keep it for myself. Yeah, either Faye or Chenzo. But yeah, okay. they, I think it's uh, against Kartal and Shaman, right? between maps or Yeah, are they loading into a game? No, let me check. No, I'm not just asking him. Okay. So we'll have a game soon, or as soon as possible, which is always true. Okay, yeah, they have played the first map. Okay, we get uh, into their second no, map. They, no, it's like they, it's 30 to 40 on Vale, uh, which is the second map. Mm. And then Faye crashed. 
Ah, okay. Yeah. I need to check the, the rules, what I wrote for that case again. Yeah, so they will play like uh, the remainder of the time and try to reset the control the way it was and, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so... But the, it was... almost done then. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's not really... I don't think it's, it's worth it to go in there. I'll just try to figure something out for the uh, remaining tournament. Because as it is a Swiss system, and it is a true Swiss system as well, mm -hmm. that means rematches are not possible. Uh, okay, so we also have to check how much matches are able. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And on top of that, we still need to break ties, and we have one currently. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hope the uh, tournament uh, does that automatically. Automatically. Breaking the ties? Well, well, that, that they get matched. Yeah, yeah, probably. That's like how the Swiss system should be working, but I'm not even sure if if there will be more matches to be played other than those that break existing ties. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Should we take five again? Yeah, probably is better. Then I'll grab a beer. Uh, I, I think we already earned that. Okay, guys, see you in five.
Cheers. Cheers. So I got my apple juice and and nuts. That is how uh, this is uh, a complete break champions stream. And we do have matches uh, for the remaining uh, teams. Um. Yeah, so we will have uh, Faye and Shanzo matching up against Stotti, Bomos Generation against Stuli Jarze, Kills Hero against Juan Mortem, and Insomnia against PL Gurom. As I said, like double matches are not possible. So. The only other future possible match is Balmos Generation. I uh, like in the in next round would be Balmos Generation against uh, One More Tame and Insomnia against Faye and Shenzo or Stulia. So there could be more games. We will see what happens. I'll just roll with it. The matches won't be work like thanks to people. I now have to say it a little bit drastic, but th thanks to people not being able to fucking read a sentence or s write something in their shitty calendar, this is now turning into a very, very weird experience for everyone, as the Swiss system probably is not really going to work anymore, given how many teams now have to drop out. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like actually, this is already the top eight. <laughs> yeah, technically. Yeah, but we only need to break ties, so we have some ties, so we need to play one more round. Mm -hmm. But after that, mm. who cares? Like, <laughs> should we at least get in in a game? Like yeah. uh, Fey Chenzo versus Estelti? No, I would go for uh, mm. one of the tie-breaking games. To be honest, as it might okay. be the last thing we see so let's let's see uh i'd, I'd say to watch uh, kills hero against studio the yards that looks kind of nice mm, yep. okay i'm dropping out here Club. We're not not joining them, right? No, it's it's uh, this is um, shaman and cartel. Yep. <laughs> but he probably sees uh, the 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 stream uh, and uh, as as long as he keeps me inviting I can't uh, change the stream uh, oh, like, uh let's see Oh no, so we have a <laughs> The match we want to see is not possible. But they are not playing against each other. What is what? Wait, or am I wrong? Let me check. We have Kill Zero versus you and Mortain. Faye Chenso versus Astotti. Ballmouse Generation versus Stuli Yeah, my round six is being removed. It's perfect. Oh there you go. Oh yeah, so they can't. Oh fuck. Okay, yeah. Um, Let me then go for Incenso. Fuck okay. it. Oh, I don't okay. care. Okay.
Okay. Let's see if they are already doing uh, the fix events. Can I see the the current sessions? What do you mean? In the pick ban app? Um, if you open the config, you should see that, yes. But you can't, if you open it like as a normal website, you don't see it because, um, mm. you know what I mean? Because it's like, uh, you can only see the history of the config. So to speak, I'll try to see if they use my config or not. No, nobody's using my config, so we need to dig up synthesis config. Dig it up. No, no. Four minutes ago, yeah. I'll send you the link. If that's still what they are doing. Okay. Yeah, I could be probably streaming, so I'll uh, look at his stream that's going on. Oh, yeah, right, but that, that can be helpful. I think that's it. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm still like trying to to find it, like surely rather. Yeah, so it's a different one. Um, it is awoken first. Oh yeah, I have it. So yeah, fame chance on awoken. That's not a surprise. Is Totti on veil? Vale? That's kinda. Oh well, maybe not really, but I think. Um, but, yeah, I could have played Blood Covenant with like their champion pool as well. Or Deep Embrace, or Ruins even, but that got removed straight away. So yeah, maybe it's not that big of a surprise. So, Awoken into Vale, and if we need a map number three, it's going to be Exile. Fein Shanzo banning the Strog, Astoti banning BJ, and then Fein Shanzo banning Anarchy. That's clearly targeted towards Antorshka and Klub. Both of them like their champions. One of them uh, an awful lot, and now it's, yeah, Astoti choosing to ban the DK. Fae 
Okay, who's picked that? I can't read that. Wait. Uh, Faye, Gentro. Has the um, clutch. That's definitely um, a club denial. Um, yeah, I would go with Ranger, right? Yeah, Faint Chenzo. No, I've got the normal view so I can read it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd certainly answer with the Ranger here. And probably something like the Doom Slayer. So you'll have mobility. I don't think a Soul Egg would be a good choice, but you never know. I mean, what would you answer, right? If, against Ranger Soul Leg. And on the other hand, if you don't pick the Soul Leg, what would you do if you now have to play against Soul Leg and Clutch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can pick Athena. No, not really. But, like, but... I think she'd just blow up. Yeah. Every time she spawns. Yeah, or you need to really feed her uh, all the armor. But she only really works, or definitely, like, if, if I even think she should cheat on, on Blood Covenant. It's just such a strong map for her. But on the Awoken, well, yeah, maybe. In Duel, she works. But on Veil of Love and, well, maybe Exile a little bit. Oh, oh and they chose the Athena, hmm? actually. So oh, no. One has a plan, I hope. I get um, booted out, out of Quake again. Oh, this is going to start. Perfect. Yeah. Due to inactivity. Oh, perfect. Yeah, inactivity. <laughs> Since when do you get that in a party? Since they probably invest so little fucking money in servers these days <laughs> that they need to free every po spot possible. Pissheads. A mask and clip again. So fuck. No, no, they are also um, not in the party anymore. Great. I'll just restart Quake for it, just to be sure. I think someone pushed the wrong backend button accidentally. Maybe everyone got kicked because of inactivity. No, I know. I, I see some people on the stream having still uh, a lobby. Hmm. Yeah, we are trying to get the um, match on the way as soon as possible.
Alrighty. Clutch. Visor against Ranger Athena. And we have spoken about this a lot. Uh, especially on the bigger maps, having the visor and one fast champion can be very useful during power-ups because the visor can tell the fast champion where to go and kill when the fast champion has the power-up, actually. If that's needed on Awoken, I doubt it, and for certain we only know that uh, Clutch and Visor will be played on Awoken. But yeah, maybe on Veil or on Exile it's, it's also quite decent. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, they're going to do the picks and bands for the other maps uh, until they get to it. So. We are loading into Orkan. One hour and 40 minutes <laughs> underway, and this is our second match. Let's go. Yeah, and the third map even. Amazing. <laughs> well. Everyone looking forward to <laughs> watching some quick. Let's uh, go. Yeah. Prepare your team. <gasps> so I'm, uh, begins the big yeah, robots. I, I'm Two, going to charge. One, charge. Start on Genzo. As well, clutch is always nice to watch. I say it time and time again. And not only shotgun, but also the mining drill gets used and decent damage dealt, but that's all she wrote. He gets traded by Antoshka, and his teammate is the one who needs to revenge him. Genzo still just is a disruptive fridge. And as Willow stated yesterday, some friends of him have a clutch that can connect to the internet. Maybe this clutch can do that as well. We are not fully aware of it, if that's possible or not. But we also see a pattern emerge already, whereas Faye is more stationary around railgun area and you, you mean, is uh, running around. You mean one of those switches where you can tweet on or something? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and just we we just see it happen time and time again. And as soon as they know they both spawned at LG, it's like they just go out a little bit, and then they even give away the railgun for a second or not because they just take it away from their cold dead hands soon enough anyway. Flip now has had it for more than a few seconds. Let's see what he can do with it. Lands a lot of them onto the clutch and actually keeps his rail for a while. And Tushka sweeps house and. Well, swings himself out of that. But Genzo, shield in play, dashes in, mining drill to finish off Estotti and secure the power up. And we see absolute and utter destruction coming in already from us. Faye and Genzo right now. A 10 frag lead in this. Two minutes emerge and it's growing by the second. Ethan power up run. Even without piercing sight, telling them where they would respawn. That was quite a run. To be honest. Yeah, the, the setup was just a little bit 
separated 1v1s, right? And that's perfect for a clutch as he can just dash in with his big stack and the shield and wreck everyone from behind then after the first skirmishes are over. Did he even die yet? Like, uh, I think Amadeus may not have died yet. Could have been. Can't catch me now. And he is reigning strong. But over the railgun area. Yeah. He, doesn't, he didn't really leave it that much yet. And I think it's a good plan, right? Have one that the slow one stationary try to move as much out as needed to help your teammates here and there. But never so much that you lose control over the position. And now Amy Diaz back to back hits. Gets back to back kills as well. Heavy uh, to boost. And he's not stopping. The man already has six impressives. But now he has to stop for a while because no ammunition, so he needs to return. Pick it up, and there you go. He did. Just that. I am died and his second death. But Chenzo, again, is there. Same thing on the power up. Shield was used. Gets it. Gets two breaks. Cleans the leftovers from Amadeus. And just look at this. Again, absolute and utter destruction. 22 frags difference. What and was this? Spin <laughs> just for the for the shit of it, right? Mm. There was no need to do that. Like from which game uh, did he is he on? Um, split game, right? Split game. Split game. Oh. Split, game yeah. split game is a great champions mode. Oh, yeah. is the, the, <laughs> the other game. It is with the portals, right? Yeah. You must feel terrible having come so far only. Yeah, because like it, it is um like if you don't have the, that V uh movement ingrained in your mind or in your brain, then it is easier to, to play champions like clutch. I think you're more in inclined to learn it, right? Because yeah. you have to learn every movement anyway, so why not just learn that one as well? <laughs> Should have ducked. And he also plays strong a lot. Like, he really likes that gem. He is aware of cr how cr crotch sliding works. I mean, those movement mechanics are kind of what makes the game fun, right? VK3 mm. is just poop. Shoot. <laughs> no, 700 UPS on the, the straight is cool, man. Yeah. So nice. <laughs> so much fun. This. And again, the shield. Chenzo is never using it. When that would mean he doesn't have it for power up. Antoshka now gets the power up. Can't get a frag with it. And Amadeus gets it immediately off the telefrag's clip. And it's Chenzo, the big clutch. Big baba boom, the robot gets the power up again. And while it's not we're able to get a few frags here and there, the reign of terror is not ending from. Trey and Chenzo here, and Chenzo is just having a role with the power-ups. He's not missing out on a single one of them so far. And every run of his has been devastating. Now it's just eight frags to go, and we haven't even played seven minutes. Okay. This is just a <laughs> He dances around the pole like a stripper. To also hide <laughs> from any damage at the same point. To clip the dust the damage and gets the frag, but. Oh, Antoshka is there to trade both of them out, so let's see what Antoshka can do on his Athena. The man who Just likes movement champs ever so much. He's gotten a few frags, but he's surprised 
by a clutch from behind and the first rocket deals so much that the second just needs to land somewhere remotely close to him to finish him off. And it does so, but Antoshka is immediately there to bounce back, gets the frag. But that's all she wrote for him. <laughs> Genzo has oh. nothing of it and trades him out immediately and Amadeus finishes it off, putting the nail into the coffin. And yeah, this is domination from the side of Faye and Chenzo, or Amadeus and Chenzo. But, well, it's Faye and Chenzo is the team name, right? Mm. So let's just call him Faye. I think people can make up their minds who we mean if we relate to him and they don't see an in-game name like that. So should be able to. A few very bright-minded people, at least. Yeah, but let's quickly peek what the next map will be, because uh, picks and bands will be in the lobby. But it will be um, a bit of love. And the clutch switches side. Gloop mm. gets that one on his hand. <clears throat> and the ranger switches side, so this is going to <laughs> go into the hands of Faye and Chenzo. And they choose Keel as well. Yeah, I think you need some heft behind you if, if the other team has the clutch. And the Nyx? What? Wow. Okay, clutch Nyx for okay. Stotty. Against ranger kill, I'm amazed. That really? okay? That actually, that actually uh, increases uh, my mood quite significantly <laughs> because this is going to be fun now. Okay, good luck, have fun. But I mean, they have. Had, it's not like uh, Antoshka played bad, right? But he wasn't also able to carry or compensate anything he needed to to carry his team to to a close game or a victory with a light champion now he has a light champion again hey thanks the difference the is nice. they have yeah they have a, a clutch behind it as well now so nick's clutch is it is for a stotty against ranger kill for faint chenzo and yeah kelson thank you for the raid once again as rob said already Welcome everyone from Kills and Stream. I hope you had a good time over here. I hope you enjoy the content over there. I mean, I hope you enjoy the content you are going to see here as well. Round begins in three, two, one. Return Fight. To the dust, you yeah, and our clue. Clutch in hand. Shield is being used. And he needs it as he looks like he's gonna die. Chenzo is just not missing an L gun. And then the rail gun is there to finish about Antoshka. Antoshka with the Nyx. Gets back to back frags. And leans up Chenzo and then Faye. But now he's weak. Ghostwalk has been used. He's using the starting nail gun, by the way. Yeah. Oh, he still has it equipped because he was playing clutch on Awoken. Chenzo always uses it there, or very often, just to, to be able to do the nail jumps right off the spot and be more mobile about on the map, which is a super valid tactic for a clutch. But here, I mean, it also let him a frag, so it wasn't too bad, right? But I think we will see a change there coming out soon. As of for now, it's not as quick in terms of frags as the first map of Awoken was. As Totti really set up their control around 
the upper teleporter exit area, whereas in form of Toshka and Kuk is just running around trying to be disruptive as much as he can. And he falls, now it's on Toshka with a duty to hold that position, but he vacates it. Shenzo super weak, lands a rail, lands a follow-up. And it's tied as Klug is getting traded, but Klug immediately gets the first back. Shenzo quad is out and the robot, how did he get it? Yeah, by just standing on the spot, <laughs> like five seconds early. And yes, uh, I thought and the orb would actually steal it. Yeah. It was interesting that he didn't switch to shotgun when the orb was used, but um, yeah, he stood fast and went purple as soon as it spawned. And then, yeah, yeah then your ancient G is actually doing massive damage. So, jumping around for this heavy. Mega went to his teammate, so they have. Uh, Full control and upper position. Who gets another frag? And yeah, well, it's not like anything in terms of uh, extraordinary carry performance coming out from Antoshka yet. He's playing his part as well. As I said, he's maintaining map control over certain areas, whereas Klub is being disruptive as he, much as he can. And, that resulted in them basically picking up all the major items in this map so far. I think they have lost like one or two megas, that's all. And always it was used as a bait. It, it came at a huge cost. Now Cliff is low, but he still lands a direct onto the keel before dying. And now we see rolls reverse, kind of. The frag scoreline, while not being wrecked up as quickly, it's the same as it was on Wook, just the other way around. 15 seconds until the pentagram is spawning. We are not going to see shield being used just yet. And Clip might be respawning, and there you go. He does so. But he's not in time. Actually, is anyone in time? Yes. And Hoshka was as well as... Faye, and Faye is the one who gets the item. Bumps his head on a failed rocket jump. Flip the nice Omega. It's not too bad, but he's actually in a 1v2, so it might, after all, be very bad. Antoshka gets Chenzo, and... Orb is out as well. And Chenzo is there to finish it off. Antoshka still lives. But yeah, it's not that... Many frags, to be honest, and I think Faye and Chenzo also hoped to get more out of this, and it looked for a while that they could, but then there wasn't really that much coming, as Amity is needed to be very careful as well. But now they seemingly start to stabilize after the power-up, so the control they gained with it was probably more deciding than the run itself. Yeah, the Faye is uh, also... Uh, Letting his real gun speak. The same goes for Sir Chenzo. I wonder who made him mic. Stay down. You disgraced yourself enough. Stonehead, rather. Oh, and Medeus hits every rail, and now just, just two minutes ago, or rather one, I said, oh. No, it's as dominant as a walk. It was just the other way around. And look at this, we're tied. Yeah, this one was going back and forth more. And, but like, I do think the champions that are uh, heavily um, based on their ability, like the Nyx and the Clutches, actually, they do fare well on uh, this map because it has like eight time vials. So you can use your ability uh, a lot. Tosca gets it, but he's weak, 77 HP, and yeah, the shield was not in play. Faye made sure to gobble up all the time vials beforehand, and Tosca 150 stack gets one frag. A second one, oh, and heavy. Now they have the timing, and they could establish map control a little bit firmer back of that. Oh, and he's chasing, and the teleporter needs safety for now. For oh, he's walking into a trap. 
and he is, yeah, and shotgun wasn't used. He would have gotten a frag with it, for sure. But, well, in the end, Ghost Walk into in Inside Out, into Frag, and Blue chimes in as well. Mega Taken, turning over to Heavy. They seen that power-up run really gave them back control, and Faye crashed again. So it's 6, 21, and 21, 21 in time. Yeah. AMD C CPU, probably. Yeah, I did not get the spawn he wanted. <laughs> what about the stacks? Mm. Yeah, what about them? Oh, good thing we have a YouTube stream where I can rewind and immediately see the stacks. Isn't that amazing? So, as the second that Chenzo wrote Crash, Klub had armor overstack a little bit from Last Heavy and Antoshka. Barely had... Antoshka had starting stack, so did Fein Chenzo, so it's 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 okay. Just make it like I don't know. Just restart it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the clutch did did get the heavy. Yeah. Yeah, but he was weak before, so if he spawns now, he'll have the same stack oh, as sure. he has now, because yeah. he has like 150 and 50 HP. Yeah. So it's okay. Like yep. they are that even. I think. True. And Mega was taken before Heavy, so it doesn't really matter that much, I think. Okay. Okay. And so... Okay. So did, I, did I say okay already? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> Just make sure. Oh, yeah, because uh, <laughs> you are seeing 4K uh, skills down to. Yeah. 1080. care for 4k i want 120 fps yeah <laughs> kind of it it might might come somewhere yeah so. it may maybe i think it, it it might be even if like if if it's the base right and we scale it down for twitch but put it out to youtube like it is it might work mm. i don't know we will see round begins again Three, two, one, fight. Okay, so 29 frags to go it is. And yeah, for those who were unhappy that Kloob got heavy, he got it again. <laughs> mm, I don't see any proof. No. no, me neither. And it's tied again, so every, it's perfect. Like, the restore was fine. The way it went... But now, yeah, Chenzo is in a really big trouble the first because he gets hunted down by two of the players. And, well, in the end, the Gloob just goes in forward, eats a lot of water balloons, and water and electricity don't go well, so the robot falls in the end. It is the lightning gun overloading the robot. And it is tip for Tad, it remains blow for blow. Oh, 
Okay. As it's a very chaotic restart. The start of the last time, it was rather composed and people try to get control over areas of the map more. But now it's just, they, they started off where they left when the crash happened, really. Lead taken. Incoming quad. <laughs> They're both hunting for the elf bubbles. And again, the starting nail gun for Tosca. Oh, he gets pushed off. Oh, but Amadeus is weak himself, he needs to be careful. And Antoshka knows it, so he tries to get an angle of attack. But there is no oh, angle of what? attack. And <laughs> Which weapon did he use in the end? <laughs> like, well, I, I had a visual... Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> like, he had the LG out, but it was a real gunshot. <laughs> yeah, for me, it was a real gunshot, because this LG was empty. <laughs> Nonetheless, power up run. Nets. Faye and Chenzo with full frag lead. But, yeah, well, as soon as it is, it's over, it's actually a Stotty bouncing back as they seem to have more control over the map. Oh! And Toshka really tried to fake it. <laughs> yeah. And it almost worked as he pushed it. It was so sad that he died in the end. <laughs> yeah, it was a nice play. He was from the heavy, but then it was just like... Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> he straight just hit everything back. And then inside our shop slayer. Bye bye. Clutch as well. Four frags remains the difference. A weak ranger for once could spell trouble, and we have Nick with a very big stack. Oh, but he trades, and Antoshka makes good use of that stack as he gets to the himself. And again, the ranger falls. So let's see what the Antoshka mix can do. Starting nail gun, as you said, Robbie. Yeah, he, 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 he keeps on to his uh, invis. Let's see if he's. Uh, this, ah, this is why, you know why. yeah. <laughs> yep. It's all in the movement, and he's just saving everything, not showing his face. But he didn't go for heavy, and he could have had went for heavy and, and went the normal way, but this way of attack probably is more unpredicted and a good run as Clue and Anushka team up for a frag. Anushka finds aim at the end, gets a frag, but has paid a lot of stack for it. He needs to be a little bit more careful now. And he picks up four stack. But he's in a 1v2 and falls actually even before the power-up runs out, so the dying second, the pentagram will live with Genso. Well, yeah, good power-up run again. Three frags the lead. Oh, why didn't he use his uh, ghost mark? Oh, he does use it now. And it, remember, it's nine frags to go only for his totty. No. Mm, it, 29 yeah. frags is the threshold. We're on Stopwatch. roughly elf 11 minutes now. Elf, nice, perfect English. <laughs> and well, it's just seven this... tracks to go. What Genso is is elf not giving up yet. 11 in German. Elf. Elf, okay. Yeah, like in Dutch, it's also elf. Yeah, because the languages are very similar because. Yeah. A very, very similar roots. I'm not dead yet. At least in written form they are similar. Yeah, Jared. Six frags to go against 12 frags to go. So this is a big mountain to climb, a steep one even, as well. And losing out on frags like this and losing 1v2s over perfection. and over again don't make it look more and more likely that you actually make it happen. It's doesn't really look at all like Fane Chenzo will close it out in a 2-0 and we get to see map number three. Two... No, three more frags, sorry. And it will mean quad in the hands of Antoshka once more. Oh, he does. Two more frags, but he's three HP. He could just like make a quad delivery service does so, so let's see Clutch. Two more frags. Oh, the op is followed through! Make that one more frag and that's it, GG!
G. To the G. Mm, let's quickly spot what the last map will be. Exile. The Pix and Bens will be in. Hey, no, not here. Oh, I, I don't have a, a lobby button on this uh, screen. I need to swipe to it. There we go. Left. Yeah, no, pigs and buns. Start over again, and I will visit the Porzellan Ausstellung. Mm. Yeah, genau. Yeah, now uh, then so wants to uh, play clutch again. Let's stop the answers it with um, the ranger. Yeah, everyone wants to play clutch. But there can only be one. So I think Antoska still needs to uh, say which champion he is going to play. And on Exile, um, like Eisen or Death Knight will work, but I think those were banned, right? Um, no, Eisen isn't banned, but Death Knight is. So, Clutch and Eisen, mortal enemies, now um, chosen to work together versus Sharlak and Ranger. Or SW. Okay, so the picks are in actually. Yep. Yeah, in 2v2 it offers just a big element of, of disruption, right? And I think when you play a clutch in your team, it's always a good option to go for it because you're going to get hit anyway in 2v2, like literally. So why not have more stack or be disruptive and, and fast and everything, right? That, I think that's the main idea behind it. Anyway, we will see how it turns out. Ranger, Solek, Clutch, Eisen. Interesting picks, I like them. And we'll see what this brings. A Telefrag to starters. Courtesy of Klub, as both of them decide to walk through. The TP and shield is used into mining drill. Ooh, I don't think he wanted to do that because he had LG already, but it doesn't really matter. He gets the frag anyway. Two to one. Not anymore. Bye bye, Chanta. I've seen that from Clips POV. It kind of looks funny. 
point blank. We lost. Start watch. Teams are tied. Lead taken. Teams are tied. Lead lost. And this one goes tit for tat, but no, Teams both of the Astoti guys are rather on their dying breath. A clip just wants to do one Lost. shotgun shot, but Amity is not going to let him have it. Faye finishes it on with the HMG. And let's follow the man as he has a quite decent stack. Let's see as for how long as he goes into 1v2, wins it actually. Good pre-work as well from his teammate. And then Faye just landed all the shotgun shots necessary to make it rather clean. Eyes and passive kicks in, 50 armor. It will remain 50 armor. Oh no, and he's actually not there to get it, but... Wow. <laughs> okay. I think that Antoshka kind of ruined Klib's power-up run as he pushed Amadeus with lightning down. speed into his teammate there. Yeah. He just cleans house and gets the mega on top of it. Now, protection. Oh, and the timing. And Toshka just turns around the split second. Amadeus goes for it. And a full frag lead emerges off that power up run. A lot of trades came, so all the net frags kind of went to the hands of Amadeus. And another nice frag with a railgun as the man just keeps on hitting a 10 frag wow. killing spree. Make that 11. He's not stopping. And every time Chenzo charges in, one of them is left low. Like, shield is being used, so he probably has a plan getting some time valve soon. Rocket doesn't do what Faye needs it to do, so he might fall, but the railgun... Well, he keeps himself alive for quite a bit longer than he should have been in that situation. And he not only got flanked, but was weak to begin with when Antoshka decided to push. But yet, he remains alive on the map and actually even gets a frag. This is very significant now. Getting so much value out of the little stack. Is serious playing uh, instead of playing? <laughs> or does he just have have really the same playstyle as Sirius? They are the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Skill. Oh yeah, now Antoska got the protection on it as well. So let's see what he can do with it. Heavy taken. The robot removes himself from the map. Well. All the rocket jumps come out. Railgun up close. Clean. Hits the shot as well. So one more frag for Antoshka, who looks to tie it up with this one. It's not going to happen, but he can gain control and maybe even start the comeback that way. Ignite it with a pentagram as it just burned out. Oh, hello. <laughs> someone, someone goes through the portal. <laughs> And gets bombarded. Antarska leaves Club alone to collect the heavy. And he just keeps dying while uh, Antarska is uh, thinking about life. Yeah. Luke was there to, to save his teammate's skin. He would have fallen to the HMP. It chunks away, keeps the stack out of us all. Like in no time, an AMG is with a railgun and high ground. That's his home turf, kinda. The tribal LG area. He has been sitting there, living there, and breathing. A lot of successful air, I'd say. It seems like Fane Chenzo also kind of adopted the playstyle of uh, the Russians on this map, which tend to just rush Railgun off the spawn every time on this map. And they kind of do the same. You always see them with Railgun in hand. And it is probably a little too close for comfort. 
Remove some salt. So oh, okay. okay. He does get the gauntlet kill. And what's yes. Oh no. And Toshka can't deny it. Can't hit a rail, so the pink beauty goes over into Amadeus's hands. And he can increase their lead, Robbie Rebellious. Yeah. The one with the crush in the hand seems to win the map. What tells us? This. Just ban clutch. The only. If. Like, if you're not the first, yeah, the, you, yeah. don't get to, you get to play it once, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So ban it. But maybe they would think that's good. Or, no, 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 that doesn't make sense. The group always plays it, so. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe they weren't oh, aware. Both of them ticking. <laughs> Just up until shortly, that was a big fight for. The Estotti guys, to be honest, they are still trailing, but they are making it. it somehow happen to come back. It looks like it is possible, but Klub just now fell to the hands of Chenzo, finished to, with the HMG, and it's still an 8 frag gap. And it's not looking any more likely that the comeback is about to happen or not. And now, yeah, they play a little bit of chess because they both will die from the shotgun on longer ranges. And it is indeed Chenzo <laughs> in the end that falls. Stop but Antoshka has nothing to fight with. So does Klub and Clutch just respawned. And the shield on, you hear it. He's in the vicinity to take the power up. He has the stack. Orb has been used. And Antoshka also Hail Mary's in, but nothing works. And it is the pentagram. On Sir Chenzo, let's see what he can do with it. It's not ending the map, but it might be. Assistant. No, it does not. How is he not getting away with this? Party breaker. And now Amadeus gets it. Faye picks it up. Leftovers is what he gets. A few seconds left. Ooh. It seems like the pentagram just gets chewed away by the opposition every time and another teleport. This time though, it's for Faye and Chenzo, not against them. 11 frags, different drop, they broke the 40 minutes mark. Do you think a comeback is possible? Stop watch. Mm, it is difficult. And it's also such a small map that you really have weapon disadvantage uh, as soon as you spawn. So, so it's, it's actually hard to get back into the fracking mode. <laughs> you should not have won that with rail on close range against two players. But Klub could have connect lightning gun. Falls again. Three fracks to go. Toshka has decent stack. Has he the, uh, the weapons he needs to fight? No, he doesn't. He gets even one v two. Klub rocket jumps up to mega. Two seconds still. He gets it, but it's gone immediately. Chenzo gets another frag. That, well, removes that one from the board right away. And it's two frags to go. This is certainly looking like a win for Faye and Chenzo from this moment on. And that's it. Amadeus gets the last frag on the Lizard. Well, technically, if she used the, the Mecha Solex skin, we would have had two robots at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you would say that they did the night us that. Yeah, Faye and Genso um, still steady at uh, the first spot. Yeah, they have been dropping maps, but never the victory. does mean uh, we need to do some administration before we get into the next match if we get one that's the question yeah the 
other 2v2 seems to be still going on. Given we don't have had deliberate murder in our lobby, maybe they are covering that. Or did we have? No, we had. Fuck. Can't even look at the lobby. So I need to see. If any one of them is streaming. But it doesn't really look like it. Does it? No. No. So no. many players. Nope. Nope. Yeah, so we'll have to wait for that result to come in and then we know if there's more to come. Okay, uh, so we'll uh, take five minutes to grab yes. some refreshments and then we'll continue the show. Be right back.
and we're back. It is uh, highly likely that they are playing the third map. Uh, yes, the remaining match of round six is probably in the third map. Maybe not. We don't know. We are, uh, don't have sadly anyone following that game on stream. And since since they are still in match, I'm not going to message them now. So this, um, oh, no, it's apple juice. Because I, I'm, yeah. Um. I will, uh, let uh, <laughs> Uh-huh. No, it's... I, I don't think I'm allowed to... Um, to show the brand or say the name on YouTube? Uh, yeah. I think you are. It doesn't matter. I, I've, there, there are literally channels that make a 20-minute video about alcohol. And, and do they also draw, drink alcohol? No, but I think they show people drinking it. Okay. Well, this is... Uh, uh, triple Carmelite. Uh, and it's... Uh, it looks like a nice, nice apple oh, juice. I had one of the Carmelite uh, ones. Wait. Need to see which one it was. Yeah. Oh, they only have the triple, right? They, yeah, the Carmelita is only a uh, triple, but it, like they they yeah, say had this. <laughs> they, they they say they exist since sixteen hundred. 76 or something? 79. What? 49? 79. 79, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the bar that I sometimes go to, they have it on tap. It's... So it's like tap water, but beer? <laughs> it's got to be the death of me. Because like they they are not uh, light bears. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we still need and and uh, and have uh, cashew nuts. Nuts. Not nuts. Nuts and beer. That's what you want in life, right? Yeah. Nuts and beer. Cheers, uh, Marsh. Everyone seems to need. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no QuakeCon announced yet, right? Last year it was um, at the uh, 10th of April. No, can't afford a five dollar job to write a tweet once a month. Yeah. And if you Google it, you know, like all, 
all those headlines. Is QuakeCon happening in 2024? And we are just waiting for our thing to end. Mine and good mm. Someone w wrote this on a board. What? In a video trailer, and now everyone thinks we will have Quake 6. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, and yeah. that's basically it. That's the only yeah. reason why this rumor tells us. Well, says people that, that we allegedly get Quake Six is because it's an id-related game. That's all, and it is in the id tech engine. Quake Six? No, the the Indiana Jones. Oh yeah. Um, and there was also a logo that looked like the Quake logo, right? Maybe it was cactus the... damage. You don't know that. Cactus damage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there might be, right? But literally, there has you, been. You, you can always for a say that. Yeah, you. Every fucking year. And, then, and, and it's Kareem, right? Like, this is how he gets views to just uh, few the rumors every half year. No. It's either stealing or re upload videos from the Quake Pro League channel. It's either stealing content or, or making up content. But that's how he makes his money. I think that that that, that is the only thing he does. In terms of content creation, for sure. Hmm. But yeah, we're still waiting on the, the yeah. last uh, match to end so we can start the next round. Yeah, and we probably are going to have a tie in the next round depending on how this... No, we don't. We won't have a tie, but yeah. No, we'll see. We will see. Excuse me. That was uh, the beer. Uh, juice. Or... Or be a bear. Bear bear. Yeah, fantasizing about Quake 6. Gets everyone to say what every Quaker anyone says, what his opinion of a true Quake is, and that everything else doesn't matter but his opinion. That's like uh, uh, every uh, uh, every talk <laughs> about how Quake should be or what Quake really is or what Quake 6 needs. It's always literally the same. Uh, like, it is also... Uh traditional to uh, shit on the next quake so so players who got to know quake for the first in quake champions will <laughs> hate the next quake by default Yeah, yeah. I find it already the um, the problem with the 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 last Doom, Doom Eternal. Like you have to push so many buttons that it. You mean weapon switch? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easier with controller than the than break your mm -hmm. fingers on the keyboard. Vandy can is loading menus. They might have finished the map. Ah. Wait, is there a new Quake? Yeah, watch Karim's video. <laughs> no, there are always rumors. There have been rumors Be for because, because uh, 
the godfather of Quake was also at QuakeCon uh, this year. Yeah, and, and if someone releases a video about Quake, it's a rumor enough for people to think, oh yeah, we'll have a new one. Which, it, it's not working like this. Well, yeah, Quake Life. Uh... Nah, uh, but, but even, even Quake, Quake 1 players uh, shit on uh, Quake 2. Quake 1 players shit on every Quake. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Let's watch the standings. Okay. <laughs> While I'm looking at my Linky's Fox. Um and my Linky's Fox. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it, his toe is uh, is oh uh, yeah. Some people are getting grossed out by this, but uh, wh why do he? <laughs> why does he post this? He has a black nail. Uh, okay, and why do I show it? Uh, yeah, because I had it open. I accidentally clicked. I don't see uh, round seven yet. Yeah, I think I'm thinking about. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. Mm -hmm. Like Bomber's generation had a forfeit win, right? And I entered it as a forfeit win. Yeah. So uh, they didn't oh, get points for it. Yeah. And if you look at the points, if they would win the match, they like normally they would go up a rank. And would be second seed. But now they are third seed. Yeah, that that, that but isn't fair. Actually, match, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and since I, the match wasn't played, I'm I'm not sure what what to do now. Yeah, well, in terms of score, a forfeit would be the most fair. So that all their games disappear. It doesn't work like this in the Swiss system. So the the match between them and uh, oh yeah okay but uh, and Shaman, right yeah. that was a forfeit and I entered it as a forfeit. Hmm. So they get a win but no points. Okay. Yeah, I think like because there are are only eight eight teams left anyway that it doesn't really matter that much to to be yeah, well. That it, it makes a difference, right? Now they play. Um, Insomnia FC, well, no, let's be real, the top four or five is probably gonna run with it, anyway. Just click next, 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 and Wait. okay. <laughs> so we get at least one, one match, our third match in a three hour stream. Yeah, I'm, I'm currently looking. Okay, yeah, since everyone is there to play, we'll do a round seven then. Okay. But I guess this will be the last round then. Yes, round seven is the last round. Okay. So let's go out with a bang. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, I think we should get... Uh, the Estotti game. Versus uh, Stuli Yarse. Yes. Stuli Yarse. So you can invite, now Clip can invite them. Then. Click, clack, clippy, 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 clippy. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Are you singing about uh, the assistant in Word? Oh no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I see why. Why <laughs> it could be understood as this. Clippy, clippy. <laughs> no, th that's the, I always the, 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 the bush guy <laughs> I don't, but I can't remember which one I used.
I always changed it and never used the clip. Hmm. Because I was way too cool when I was four or five <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even remember how old I was when the clip was introduced. Wait, let me check that. The clip. The claw. Karl Klammer, that's the name in German. Perfect. Uh... Oh yeah, it was. It is actually in, in the Office versions from Windows ninety seven to Windows two thousand and three. What the fuck? That wasn't in Windows ninety five, where you needed a new hard drive. No. And your three eight six don't have the speed. You have to buy yourself a brand new machine. Windows 97? I'm not even aware of that. Group just disappeared, so I think they are uh, leaving the party. Yeah. Oops. Ninety nine. Hmm. What was Windows XP then? Was that that was before ten, right? Windows XP was before seven and Vista and two thousand eight. It was after 2000 and something. Uh, we need to get in the after, lobby. Yeah, it was the version after Windows 2000, kind of. Mm. And then it was, uh, yeah. Yeah, Windows 2000 was uh, the start of that Windows was getting better, actually. Mm. Because 2000 was also more server-focused. consumer focused um yeah i think so one of the boom guys are probably for yeah, uh, kartal and kartal. oh but i can uh, invite kartal club club has a lobby it's creating a lobby again ah, okay okay cool 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 Um, yeah, I'm now on Windows 11, and yeah, it's just as good as Windows 10. Looks a little bit nicer. I think it's it does like probably 90 percent of the things better than Windows 10 by now. At the start, it wasn't that good, but which software is that, right? Nowadays, generally speaking, it's. If I, like I have uh, Windows 10 on some other devices where I can't get Windows 11 to work on and it's always shit compared. Hmm. It's funny though, like I always got a warning that my CPU or something did not support it or maybe it was oh, something it, in, in the BIOS. Yeah, it's and, not something in the BIOS. And then at some point it just worked anyway in the end, so. Actually, Windows 11 has nicer input, at least it feels like that for me. Um, um, what it does better, it's not like generally that much related to gaming, but more related to how how it handles like like browsing your computer and stuff like that. How the settings are um, yeah. sorted <clears throat> for some reason, and like the terminal is fifty thousand times better for people who do programming stuff 
And in terms of FPS, yes, it chews up a little bit, but fucking NVIDIA experience chews up more. So if you have that installed, I, like, I don't know. It doesn't really matter that much is what I'm saying in terms of performance anymore. It's not that bad. Mm, yeah, I only switched to Windows 11 because uh, it has the HDR um, tool. Like there is some... No, it's not a standard, but there is a work group that um, recommends HDR settings for games. Oh yeah, they, uh, yeah, that's that's actually also something. If you want HDR, Windows 11 is the way to go. Yeah. That that is actually the only reason why I switched. Basically, Windows 11, at this point in time, does everything better than Windows 10. Like, of course, it's an sim obvious simplification, but there's not much reason to use Windows 10 at the moment over 11. Yeah, only if you have a working system and don't want to reinstall, uh, yeah. then it's fine too. But yeah, I, I barely barely customize my uh, systems anyway because I I like fresh systems. So every half year or so, I I just do a format anyway, and then I don't have to do much after the format. Mm. The only thing I have to do is to log in uh, into my accounts. And, Everything is hanky dory. <laughs> we are getting full of love. Yeah, and Molten Falls of Deep Embrace is gone again. No Deep Embrace today on this stream. Sadly, the only map with two power ups gets wrecked. Blood oh. Governor from Stule Yard is there. Stule. Yeah, I do the same. Just uh, also uh, put all all the effects off, uh, but I do have content of the window when I drag it, and um, anti-aliasing on the fonts. The rest I uh, switched off. So no animations when uh, switching apps or uh, I don't even have transparent uh, windows. Or borders, how they call it. Okay, so ISM ban, clutch ban, keel ban, ranger ban. Yeah, finally a clutch ban.
And for Vale, as Totti opens up the pick and bump process with the BJ. Maybe trying to shotgun any scale barrel shenanigans, but what if Studio now goes to scale Soleg and <laughs> just doesn't give a shit then anymore? No, they won't do that as Death Knight is the first to lo be locked in. But that would have been kind of funny. And then the Galena as an answer, so now Solex Scale or Strog would be a valid option. Even the Anarchy is quite decent on Vale, but it is the Nyx again, and we've seen this Totti be successful with the Nyx pick on Vale. But that was backed up by a clutch. Okay, everyone's ready. So we're loading into Vale as well rather soon. I have no clue how to pronounce that name properly, so I'll just don't know what I'll, I'll do during the match, but we'll see. It's, it's Stule Jarse. <laughs> Stule, yeah, but that sounds more Swedish than Polish, doesn't it? Uh, it is Polish, indeed. Uh, Stule Jarse. It is Stule Jarse. And it Stule means, means uh, freaks. Right, so it's an it's an actual word, then I can yeah. let uh, someone else say it and then try to copy that. Yeah, I just asked it uh, uh, on, uh, on Google. Stule Jarse. And it's Stule Jarse. My Google says Stule Jarse. Wait. Well, from the ashes, I Sule Yarza on the right side. One frag up currently, Death Knight and Galina seem to work well together at the start. And the Gibad one. Klub actually doubles down and gets another one. But Antoshka. So he's there to help with the fragging and it's a two frag lead emerging on the map choice of Estotti for the Estotti boys as well. Ooh, Shaman gets the night the heavy but gets a point for it back on the scoreboard. Uh, a little bit of more chip on Klub and Antoshka 
in the meantime finishes off Kertal on the other side of the map. So now with seven seconds or rather five now just for the quad we might see the flame strike come into play and there it is but it is too little too late. Atomka has decent stack is not even put on fire always able to extinguish it immediately. Let's see what the Nyx can do. Oh, tried to Look nail cool. jump himself up. <laughs> yeah. But then decided to not try it a second time. Didn't oh. want to use too much stack. Oh, he missed the rail. Loses out on the mega because of it. But at least gets the frag afterwards. So, oh, like <laughs> I saw four fills. Oh, right I think we won't see this play in uh, Twitch Best Clips. No. And uh, Natoshka on a tear, six frags to his name, and not more than one death yet. The man is on mission. Ooh, a little bit of chip with a nail into a rail, and it keeps on grinding. The wheel of pain from Natoshka grinds down his opponents more and more as he gets frag after frag. You'll get much more than is you actually the reason his team is maintaining the lead has now just Only been fragged for a second death. time. Yes, Kartal has a quiet map so far. Let's see what he can do as he has a very good stack. LG in hand, rocket launcher to hit and beautiful direct. And then the starting shotgun is not enough to fe defend himself from a charging Antoshka. Rail trade. And that should favor him. He has much more resources to fall back onto. Protection is spawning in 10. Yeah, and now it's gonna go down the wire. Klub gets the heavy, but at what cost? He falls. Koshka tries again to get the unusual attack angle, and he does get it. And because Kestel is alone, he falls. And it is Klub with pentagram well i wonder why it took shaman so long to get here because both of them were kind of on, on capital so he should have had a free way at some point at least yeah and because um Antorska built uh, the jump to the mega elf he was too late on the the power up, even for using his uh, ability, but in the end they uh, still got it. Yeah, courtesy to it being a one v one, but a one, a two v one rather. Yeah. And n now it just got returned. Two v one from Stulejaja, and yeah, Kartal has decent stack. Shaman has even better stack. Let's see what the Death Knight is able to pull off. It's a three for a game. They are controlling the Mega side, but they need to get their way in on the heavy side if they want to make this comeback happen. And they get it. Frag onto Antoshka, rails onto Cliff, but no frag yet on the BJ. And it's a shotgun battle and actually the BJ wins it. I don't know how that went down, but it went down. Flame strike into the void. No damage done with it, and Antoshka punishes, having no weapons in a 1v2 with a rocket push. 10 seconds for quad. No flame strike, but Estotti has both of their abilities ready. But yeah, yes, but, but. Nobody there for them. <laughs> and, and also, we. What are you doing? Oh, well, it, he removed one. Oh, and Antoshka with the rail. Shaman lands the clutch shot, so keeps the pin power up for now. Go. Headshot. Could be the tying frag. Is this purple? I think. It's purple. Oh, purple is darker. Isn't it? It is dark. Dark pink. <laughs> <laughs> or light purple. <laughs> Like it's not. Excellent. Combo perfect. 
Yeah, that was it. Oh, nice uh, damage output from uh, Zaman. He is the man. The man. Yes. Yeah, but the man just <laughs> <laughs> incinerated by Clib's lightning gun. And it's a tight game, so indeed it was power ups. Oh, nice Changing angle. The pace of it. Yeah, the angle was quite good. But... Teams are tight. Oh, no, and he runs into him again, and he can't get the telefrag. Because Antoshka, frankly, kills him before he even reaches the TP. Ooh, nice rocket from Antoshka again. And Clib with rail finishes off the frags that Antoshka prepared for him to take. The teamwork Shaman runs into 1v2. Not a fight you can win. Nice use of the wall jump there from Antoshka to make it another uncomfortable fight. And he is in position, but Kavital oh, actually what? gets it because he walks too far close. Like he's, he went too close to the ledge, so his hitbox wasn't on the ice anymore. And Kavital gets it. And this is a big fumble, actually. And this could come in very costly. Kavital still has 140 HP. He can take a rail or two. But Klub is fast as F boy. He's so just really a slippery Shaman motherfucker. <laughs> That's all they get with a power up. But well, it was a very good push from from Kertal, and it denied their opponents a power up, which is even more important. And now it's tied courtesy to Shaman's rocket launcher. Close map. This is. Let's get the whole spec. What the dice from another real run? I thought this was going to be a challenge. Yeah, is it that now tested sometime? Uh, I have tested it yeah. multiple times already. Okay. Like we stood on top of each other yeah. and looked who got the item, and it wasn't always the one player. Yeah. <laughs> So it's not the player ID. We'll I don't. I don't care if, if the de developer of the game says it. If, if it's the player ID, it should be a hundred percent, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's not. It's not even close to ninety. So it it is the one who moves, or no? We are also tested that. Oh, it's, a, it's, it's just around I don't know what it is. It, I don't know what it is. It, it's it's the one who believes the most. Yes, maybe. In this case, Antoshka was the only one that, that believed. Yeah. Oh, nobody was there. <laughs> but he's weak. He had to use the ghost rock to get out of there. I've been fighting trash like you for years. Stop watch. Yeah, but random with only a few people is not really random. Natasha gets one frag after the other. Makes Stotti the winning team for now again. But Studios actually get the heavy and the frag. Antoshka wasn't really able to help his teammate there that much, but maybe now he is, and there you go, a trade. Clearly, I should have as I say, it, Shaman gets the second one as well with a buckshot. Let's watch the dead knight again. As he is on fire. 26 frags to his name. He lands on a mission. Kartal ties it back up on the other side of the map. Neat little Your nail jump again. Shaman didn't even see it coming, and this is how the heavy goes. Uh, oh, the Invis doesn't get the jump done. It's the rocket launcher. Doesn't uh, stay alive to tell it to anyone. We do have it on video. <laughs> We've proved on it, and now as it's closing out in the closing stages of the game, Stuliava is one frag up. It's not much by any means. Mega is about to spawn. Kartal is flanking, but so is Clip. Kartal now gets both of them. 
as he grabs the Mega. Still has enough health. So he should set the position at Pentagram. He's in a 1v2. Shama can't help him for now. And it is indeed Clip clutches it out. Shaman had to rocket jump up in a desperation move that was. But Clip is not super healthy. Beautiful rocket. The heavy pickup is not denied for Stulia so and now actually well it's nothing really done with the protection so far other than not dying in 1v2 again and this surely falls where Antoshka finishes off Shaman on the other side of the map and now he finds a way out the game is tied everyone is weak this is gonna go either way and the game the team that maintains or establishes control first is maybe going to run away with it but it no team is able to it's just tit for tat all the way through and this is only the first map so very entertaining uh, matchup we have here and shaman doesn't go through that would be his death so both teams slowing a bit down more positional Right now, teams are tied. Impressive. <laughs> just awesome. traded. No, Antoska makes it a two or no, a three for one. Teams are tied. And it's tied again. Two frags for Stuli Alder. Probably Rebellious. Who's gonna win this? The one that. Gets to 50 at first. Incoming quad. Uh -huh. Yeah, you little know it all. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like Antoshka is making sure well, that. What would you team... or your answer be? <laughs> the one who gets the, fr lose. the quad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the quad now, and it's someone getting it. But a rail from Antoshka could put the dream. To an end, it's still they only need two frags, oh. and there you go. And Toshka gets the rail, he should be able to get the power up, and he gets it. And with Excellent. the power up, it's the closing frag from Antoshka. Incredibly clutch. He didn't get the power up, but he got Kartal, he railed the power up carrier, finished him off, and then closed out the game. At the end, it was all on Toshka there. Clutching it without clutch. So let's uh, peek. And not much difference between the two teams. Only a few frags. Yeah, four. Less than uh, uh, pixels than our 4K stream over on YouTube has. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to <laughs> Blood Covenant. Nice. <laughs> D did you like yesterday also on youtube like 1440p is not 2k pixels oh, oh yeah <laughs> then, uh, 2k is technically 1080p and i'm like <laughs> and, 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 what the fuck like come on 4k is not 4000 pixel as well true <laughs> we'll just I don't even like like the the annotation of of 4K and it, it, it's just to it's, to to make it easy for co consumers, right? Yes. Just put a, put a label in it. But then there it. is UHD and 4K, which is similar but a different aspect ratio or 2016p or whatever you want to call it. Just fucking give the megapixel count and and the aspect ratio. Uh. Done. No. Yeah. Done. 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 Okay. No, that is easy. Like. What? How many pixels? <laughs> it depends. Is our stream uh, 4K or UHD? <laughs> um, it's ultra high definition, pristine quality. So you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, if it's 4K, it is... 2160p? 8 megapixel. If it's 2160p... It's 8.2. Wait, can I see it on YouTube? The exact pixel number. No, right, I can just set it to the P number. 
Wait. What aspect ratio is it on YouTube? 16 by 9, right? Yeah. Yeah, just Google. Yeah, uh, so, so 20... it's 2016 P. Yeah. It's not, not true. True 4K. No, it's not <laughs> cinema 4K. True, true 4K would in 1690 would be uh, 2304 P. Even more P. <laughs> no, but it's not. How many penises are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's a sausage fetch fest. Oh, it can like Willow. It can be. It, it just you just need to not have 260p on the other pixels on the other side. If you take 200, 2304p, then you still have like true 4K. It's 16 by 9. But what, what if you shoot it in 70 millimeters? Millimeters? Yeah, millimeters. The focal length uh, doesn't how, change. How many picture. pixels ha do you <laughs> end up with? <laughs> the same. <laughs> it depends on your scanner. <laughs> no. It depends. No, oh, if, if, if it's film, like 70 millimeter. Film. Oh, you mean 70 millimeter film? Yeah, yeah that's the, a different story. Which is, uh, that's IMAX, right? Yeah. I don't know. IMAX, MIMAX, Schmimax. Uh, 35 is uh, just basic film stock. His Max, Her Max. <laughs> Whatever the Max. IMAX. It's, it's from Apple. <laughs> Surely it is. With all the great cameras they have been built in the past years. Prepare your team. Waves, man. It's it's iPhone, so I and uh, it's IMAX. Round yeah, it, it, it must be true. <laughs> There's two, no way. One. Fight. Ball, yeah, we start on the map cho uh, choice of Kertal and Come on. And it is indeed Shaman on the anarchy. Who is Oh, we didn't even, like, talk about the picks at all. And it's actually Anarchy and Slash for Shaman and Kartal. And curiously, Kartal is on the Slash, not on the Anarchy. Maybe Shaman doesn't play Crouch Slide. I don't know. Against Nyx and Athena. I love it. Good matchup. Uh, yeah, and I really think Athena is a cheat on, the, on team modes on this map. It, it sees so strong. Like, e even I am the best player on the server when I play Athena. On the... <laughs> okay, so so you're saying that Estotti is incredibly bad for not being in the lead with Athena right now. Is that what you... <laughs> that is no, your conclusion, kidding. but you <laughs> might be right. <laughs> and there you go, Athena ties it over. And it's actually good Athena and not Antoshka. Antoshka spots the Nyx for a second map. As he gets his frag, the steam into the lead with the frag and the rail gun. Yeah, hey, I think in duel, you're absolutely right. In duel, she's quite strong, but a slash with the speed and uh, the horizontal speed rather can be very, very hard for Athena uh, to deal with. But in two v two, the verticality is just so much more important. And Shaman is home alone at quad. Gets it. Gets one frag, gets the second, gets heavy. Item timing remains on the side of Julialza. And now we need to see. Get a little bit more out of it, but he can't find anyone. He's lacking rail. And with a quad, you're not going to rocket jump over. Um, you, you could try. But it won't end up. Uh, with oh, a nice yeah, effect. Actually. Uh, Lost heavy timing, that's kind of sad. Are you disappointed? Yeah. yeah you, you sound a bit uh, disappointed. Yeah, it, it would have been good like to see them end the, the quad on at, at rail to then take position at heavy. Oh, good timing on the rocket though from Shaman. Was aware of that this one is going to come and get an awful lot of damage on Clip, but Clip, with all the resources to work with, is the victor of the fight nonetheless, and Antoshka ties it up with a railgun once more. <laughs> is Clip going to 
survive long enough for the mega health. No, he doesn't. Next power up in 30 seconds. Players need to think about stacking up and collecting weapons. Or die. Oh, the rocket on the top. No, actually, the blue Tosca finished. Kartal Shaman finished on Tosca. Kartal spawns over at Heavy. And now that he is railed, he has not the biggest stack anymore. I was still watching him because I thought he would have. And what a point blank knows that this was going to happen. And now oh, it's 1v2 it. for Antoshka. Invis coming out and it steals the item. But only for so long, it's on the Anarchy of Shaman again. I, I do think he got an inside out and a gauntlet for one of his opponents. But it didn't amount to anything. Shaman also finally is allowed to win a rail gun. Ooh, nice. nice. Nail to rail. Not a combo frag we see that often. Since the line of sight spawns have been removed, which is a very good thing. <laughs> okay, two rails do more damage than one, but that shotgun, that hurt. And Hoshka at least avenges his death before it even happens. Six frags lead now for Stulia, and it is actually Capital mounting a little bit of a frag streak here. But now, Shaman in a 1v2 tries to... I think the gifted win, kind of, because... Well, one goes through the TP, the other one keeps fighting. It's just a free frag. Yeah, I do... Uh, that's a little bit... Uh, difficulty surviving. Well, and those guys actually looking... So not what, surviving. What are decent? <laughs> But yeah, it's just uh, the difference that uh, Suleyarsa is uh, currently making. Both players uh, doing great work. Yeah. 20 seconds until the power up and Kerfel just died. Antoshka and could team up, Rail and LG. Get the frag, 15 seconds now. And it is Shaman in position. Yeah, Antoshka does have uh, his... Uh, Ghost walk or but he, I think he will. Oh, because of that rocket, he no, he will be actually just in time, but he dies with quad in hand. Deja vu. Um, yeah, if it happened before, then you can call that. Crash and burn, baby. I mean, ghost walk to get the power up worked on the protection before. But he died immediately after, and so is it with this squad. Shaman, the bearer of the power-ups for his team. <laughs> and, and all the stack. Like, he, he, he is getting this mega health, and he got the previous heavy. The previous mega health. Inject. He's not dying also, so he's he's using that stack somewhat. Oh, he will lose it! Antoshka, you nice. cheeky little bastard. Healing an item you, that, that someone else would have wanted. I mean, it was perfect, right? Stole it, landed a rail. Sadly, he couldn't get out of there alive. Mm, Ghostwork was not yet on uh, off cooldown, so he couldn't use it, but Antoshka immediately bounced back with two great rails. And let's see what the man... The man the legend can do on the next. Gets a rail onto Shaman. Misses everything onto Kartal though. So all one frag is all she wrote for now. Follow up rail then. He's connecting but out of position for anything and no stack. 25 HP. Looks to get more items under his name and it is indeed a light armor he finds but nothing more to follow for. Fortunately he's not being focused and he even gets a frag. With that, being able to trade with such a low stack is always important and just, yeah, gives the HP or the little stack you have so much more value. And Antoshka's movement remains strong and another ghost walk power up steal and this time Plum is there to help him. But it still goes south for Estotti. They can't like win on the power up. It seems like. No, yeah, this time they 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 do get it and they get away with it. 
but also the Mega Health was stolen. Ah, the Heavy will go to uh, them. But I don't see a lot of frags happening. It is of course also a big map, so it's easy to escape. Yeah, and you're next against chasing against anarchy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Beautiful red <laughs> Someone just got completely wrecked. Oh yeah, just as the power up is uh, over, they yeah. do convert. Yeah, that's kind of a pattern you see when with protection runs sometimes. Right? Oh, and Atoshka just keeps on hitting. Is he himself is now on a frag streak? Five, that is at least I think. Oh, that wall jump nail combination did not put him up another level. This one did. Mega taken. Shaman was behind him and he didn't realize for quite a while. And they team up again. Find Kartal, get a frag, and it's almost tied. Drop, they were like eight frags separated a minute ago. Yeah. And no frags. Now it's tied. No frags have been happening for two hours oh. since then. <laughs> Inside out. But the gauntlet is there to secure the trade. Indeed, a super close matchup between these two teams. Quad in 10. Which is either purple or, or uh, pink, depending if you're German or Dutch. <laughs> it goes to the Salty Boys. Oh, studio, so it's not exactly able to um, create a situation with crossfire, but they do chase the power up carrier up. And with a full shotgun blast, they conquer it. Teams are tied. I would say this is dangerous for Kartal because he's out here all alone, but he's winning a 2v1 almost. Nice. Indeed. Stopwatch. Hooking. To a light and a heavy. And he gets out unscathed. And Oscar gets a very beautiful track and beautiful switch of weapon just to be answered by Shaman's crossbow. The Wilhelm Tower Quake. Nice. William, if you so will in English, I think that should be the equivalent name. Will I am or will you am? I don't know. Will you are? I will you are. Will I am? Is this. Is oh, this will you be? <laughs> what? He has an eye, so it's Apple again. Impressive. Impressive. And another frag. Snail trail. And this time it's not even going to work to steal it. Three frags after power up in Kerthal 10. Let's see what he can do. He picks up Mega, makes his way over. Two, the railgun picks up heavy as well. All the resources on the man on the slash. And Big Papa Kertal wants to fight, finds it against Antoshka. Seven frags to go, five frags the difference, but protection is about to run out. Ending the run over on Mega side is not too bad, given that railgun has been lost anyway. So at least you maintain Stop. item control. Shaman is keeping them busy. And yeah, we have basically a 1v1 as there's each team has a player incredibly weak. Great Kelton. tactic. Yeah. <laughs> just just jump or drop on the head of your opponent. And release rockets. Yeah, it's also very unlikely that your own splash hits you and Kerthal beautiful flick shot there. And now three frags to go. Nine frags the difference, the comeback seems impossible at this point in time. But Kartal's weak. Shaman though is able to finish off what he started. Two frags to go. And 
The scoreboard, if you so will, is ticking. The pressure is mounting. As Totti need to find a miracle. As they're under a lot of pressure right now from the Polish duo. Mega in the hands of Kertal again. He is keeping the item timings in check. Yeah, like... He has been alive for quite a while. Incoming quad. Doing great work. And yeah, like... If Estotti both show up for this power-up and both die, it's over. And it is. Almost over, but Antoshka gets it. Watches the teleport and gets another frag. But uh, maybe even get, giving away that one frag was too much. Toshka couldn't help his teammate early enough. Yeah, also throwing Kluge's item. guarding bridge. Heavy, just mistimed by the split of a second. Klub will take it and they find one. They probably also know where Shaman is, but Shaman is out of there just before the power-up ends. And, well, falls regardless. Two rails is too much to handle without any stag. And we could see him fall another time as Klub gets Kertal. Make that four frags really? difference. Is it happening? And the mega held in the pocket as well. Let's go. Oh, behind you. Ah, oh, he Ghost does walk. have Ghost Walk indeed. But oh, is yeah, definitely yeah, added. Is there to finish it off and Antoshka puts it to an end. And Shaman is there. We what? To fall to Clip and now it's three frags to go. What looked like a clear loss, sh probably. I didn't see it from his POV, but it looked a lot like it. That Antoshka just shot a rocket at his own feet. Uh, yeah, and now we, it's just we, two yeah. frags to go, but the time is running out. It's... And in the end, it was the time that they needed to win. Is it? It looked like they would have lost it if it would go like a minute longer. Mm -hmm. But how are you called if you don't have uh, a nickname? Uh, let's see. Um, um, Exile. There, that is our next map. Yes. And let's see. Super is gay. Uh, now we know. Uh, yeah, so XL. XL, and yeah, picks and buns again. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Are this e YouTube is gonna like this? Our latest follower. Trog in the end of a stotty, courtesy of Club logging it in. Locking it in. Oh yeah, now we are also streaming on YouTube. We might uh, have to connect the follows and the uh, stuff over there also. Yeah.
So, Strock, BJ Belskovich, and Death Knight. So, they are going to melt the map. So now Astotti still need to pick their second champ. And it's going to be Skill Bella. Hmm. BJ DK against... Well, the damage is there to make the scale hurt. Sure. Even during the bull rush, but... Stuli out there are like 50,000 times slower. Yeah, give or take. Yeah. Within margin of error, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you're only one to two percent off. <laughs> Maybe I, I don't know. I need to see data distribution first and measurement and securities and stuff. Yeah. So does he turn at 45 degrees or at 19 degrees? Who? Round begins in Still bar. Three. I don't know. All the degrees. <laughs> 360. <laughs> oh, <laughs> predictions, yeah. Coming up, thanks uh, Mockingbird for reminding me. It's Mockingbird. Mockingbird. Ah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the Boris just... See, the Boris does nothing. Melted previously and then... The flame strike even into nothing as well, so yeah. Two abilities down. Two minutes and for there the is enough time for them to come back up before the power up. Clip. Suicide gets a frag, so it's still zero for Estotti on the board. And Shaman gets another frag. Decent stack for the BJ. Let's see what the man can do. With a very pinkly looking LG skin. Switches to the shotgun. And he's a little bit of chip damage to the scale, and then, well, both of them disengage. So no frags happen. Got you covered, so. Yeah, but Cap. Oh, the color frags, you gotta hate him, right? No, it's, it, it is a particular skill that you acquire over a certain amount of time. <laughs> like a <Yeah>. decent. <laughs> 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 Incoming flood. Yeah, if, if you try it a billion times, the statistic <laughs> looks like it's a very hard skill to master, right? But indeed it is, and Flame Strike has been used. Dual wield is up, but the stack is not there. And he gets blown up by Antoshka, and Kertos can't do anything about it as Antoshka sweeps up the protection. The shotgun in hand, HMG just as an upgrade, Mega picked up. He looks for blood, but can he find it? Pappy was picked up by the BJ, and they single out the Death Knight, but that's all she wrote. Ooh. Nice use of the PK, Kertal again is found, and the lead is cut down. Four is all they get. No, make that five. Two frag difference is just what's left from the good run that stood out of the head at the start after that power up run, and they keep on piling up, and Klub is still on minus one. Yeah, a lot of uh, explosions happening, and <laughs> a quad peaker is always nice on a Saturday evening. Ooh, Shaman jumps over that rocket or did that hit him? I don't know, whatever. The man is on a mission, the man wants blood again. Dual wields, two LGs sound better than one, but he doesn't hit anything, and Atoshka <laughs> actually gets him, and Stuliar to get wiped from the map. Face of the earth, earth, no, earth, bye bye. But they are still in the lead somehow. Clue with a starting shotgun, no damage coming out. As the man finally went out of the negatives, his 3 HP only unfolds again. A long peeker, very long peeker from Antoshka reaches Shaman. Yep. Very long, hard peeker. 
took very long. But yeah, every time they get a frag, it feels like Stuliars is just bouncing back with two unanswered ones themselves. So they get, get a good they, ability <laughs> use. They, they get the 2 for one discount on the frags. Yeah. Time could almost say it's 50%. Oh no, Heavy is picked up by Kertal. He falls regardless. Shaman tries his best to finish off the raid boss that is scale with protection. But he fails and then all the resources in the world go to the clip. And the clip is actually able to restack. And now with Antoshka's help, the lead was taken for a short while just until Antoshka burned to death. But the clip makes sure that it stays the way it was when the power up run ended a slight lead for the Russians. And it is. The club again with the scale bearer. Pushing forward, trying to avenge his teammate, but it is a wipe. Kartal back to back rails. Shaman finishes off with Oshka. Yeah, but Antoshka just. Oh, I'll, I'll just hang out here. <laughs> Uh, eating. I mean, it's a great rocket. view over there. That, yeah, okay, yeah. What a painful view. Yeah. The, the, the greatest things are painful, right? Like, <laughs> chocolate. If you eat too much, it will be painful. <laughs> Same with beer, Rob. You probably know that. Yeah. <laughs> no, jokes aside. Don't drink and Incoming quad. I don't know, whatever. Play Quake or something. Be responsible anyway. It's a tight game. Very close. It really goes tit for Ted. We had a good opening from Stuli Arthur, but other than that, it was really just blow for blow. The Garland, nothing comes and Cliff gets the crack, but they are both weak. He has the nail gun out. Has his bull rush and he should be able to get you out but can he live no he can't kartal Ooh. and shaman team up shaman gets the item kartal gets the power up kartal delivers it to his teammate and now we have a full blown bj pun intended <laughs> with all of the bells and whistles but he can't find his opponents anymore kartal finishes off club as quad runs out in well, with one frag on the scale again. So, you have two guns, you do actually eight times the damage. No, because it's not double damage with dual wield. I think it's like 1.2. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So it's like six but, times but, the damage. Yeah. You don't have to be so anally about it. That That is correct term, right? I don't know. I think so. Someone who's, who's, who's anal is also like ridiculous precise, right? Or am I just making this up now? I don't know. It sounds shit, let's just keep it at four. More comes, more goes, dual wheels, four barrels, and the frag, finally. That was more painful than it yeah. needed to be. A Anal is also extremely or overly neat. Neat? Yeah. Ah, I think I have to play the neat and Protection spawned. So far. Has the protection. Uh, okay, yeah. Revenge. Excellent. The same as the... Uh... So if you're, you're, you're anal and gay, you are precise and happy. <laughs> <laughs> While Rob explains us the intricacies of the English language, we are getting closer to the 40 frag mark. It's a two frag lead for the Polish duo. Make that three, but it's a tit for tat, and anyone can just bounce back with a frag even. And I love the passing. Both of the teams are just like 
so good with avoiding the opponents when they need it for a while, but then they get like flanked still, and in the end, it's all she rolled. Trade for trade, it remains three frags. The difference is all we see. Up until now, and it slows down for quite a while. Hopefully. I mean, you don't want to throw it by just going too quickly and being hasty, right? Not this, and Antoshka makes it a two for a game, but the man has not that much stack. Only 100 HP. Scale is there to help him, but it's not too end well for Antoshka. But Klub anyway gets two frags. Not enough damage coming out from the Polish duo to make this one a two for two trade. And it's a one frag game again. Power up about to spawn in 30 seconds, rather 25 by now. This is good rockets from Kertal, but he's weak. He's weak, he's really weak. And Toshka finishes it with a buck shot. Gets heavy, and then Klub with the bull rush. So this one will be down. Flame strike will also be not in play. And it's a trade. And now it's two shotguns against one, and the one win. And then it's Antoshka cleaning house. And this little could be game ending quad. He falls, his teammate is there to pick it up. He's also not that healthy, but they have just four frags to go. Heavy is about to spawn, he'll pick it up and then go hunting. That's chaos and the pure chaos seemed to suit Estoti a bit better for now. At least they got the power up from it. They get no frags with it. Indeed, it is actually Shaman getting out alive and... Nice. Holy crap. That they They played it well. Yeah. Like, they, they escaped the quad. Like two professionals. Shit's all over the place. Two professional Cats quad escapers. Bag. Yeah. Bags in That's what you wanted to say, for sure. True, true, true. Yeah. It's probably also a role on LinkedIn. That you can yeah. brag about. <laughs> One frag difference, it's two frag to go for us. Thought he make that one with the kill for Mantoshka. Kertal is there to bounce back, but he's weak himself. Kertal, will he be finished by Klub? No, he lives for another second. As Klub is... 39. What? They're both... Everyone's weak. Klub and has armor. Summon his armor. What is happening? They fall back. Slow it down. With Shaman finds... If someone finds one, he's gonna get a frag. Same goes for Clip. Mega into the pockets of. Yeah, I, th I think when you have real offenses now, it's. Uh, thank you, Dory. Yeah, only Kartal has it. Yeah, he gets savvy. Yeah, let's watch him. He has the biggest stack. He might go hunting. He has no HMG, though. And he has not that much LG ammo. The box was picked before. Flame Strike directed. Yeah, there we go. It is. Lead taken. Combo kill. Nice. GG. What? <laughs> How in the real? God's name does the it add with the direct rocket to rail combo on this distance <laughs> as well, Robbie? Yeah. Uh, that's that's quick. And I mean, what a fucking nail biter to finish that one, to be honest. The best match of the day, or the best map of the day, on the last game. I'm happy. Yeah. Works out uh, well in the end. Yes. Um, this was the last uh, round, however. So we still need to do some administration work and then we'll have uh, our final seating for the um, finals. No. No? We, because we... Uh, Kill Zero and PL Gurom will play their game during the week. Um, as it's the last round, we have done this with all the other tournaments. We allow the games to like be played later on, mm -hmm. right? Just so they are rather played than not. I doubt it will change seating. 
Um, just okay. given on the point, yeah, just look, looking based on the points, but we will see. We will see. It could be that Kiltira end up on seed 3 if they win. Then maybe they still end up on seed 4. If PL Gurom is winning this, they will certainly get seed 6. I'm pretty sure about that. But yeah, that's it for today. As soon as that game's in, we will have the seeding for the final tournament. When the final tournament will be depends on a few things. And those few things will be clarified in the following days. So we will make a survey with all the participant teams so that to find a date and then we will announce it as well in an announcement and on Discord and Twitter. So you keep be kept are being kept up to date regardless if you're a participant or a viewer. Yeah, yes. and that's I think that's all I can say for now. Yeah, nothing more to add thanks for uh, running the tournament and thanks everyone who uh, watches with us yes thanks uh, for the raid gilson and thanks for the follows everyone and also nice to see uh, some activity on youtube again yeah always great i mean the only thing that youtube streaming really lacks is like the same chat thingy right yeah the predictions and stuff is uh, yeah if that's there I don't see why to why anyone would use Twitch anymore because Twitch is just worse in any regard. <laughs> well, um, I do think that uh, yeah, YouTube doesn't, or at least at f uh, on phone, you 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 can't watch when when it's not focused. So yeah, yeah, yeah it doesn't have like that that little uh, picture like, picture uh, yeah, yeah picture and picture stuff you can do. Yep, so. yeah, that's true. Uh, th that's actually a good point, but probably the only one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah. When I'm, I always watch the QPL. Uh, yeah, too, but premium, uh, you do have it. Yeah, yeah, like the the QPL, I I mostly watched on my TV anyway, and then had uh, the Twitch chat open uh, on my phone. So uh, I recommend everything, everyone, do the same. Yeah. Because YouTube just looks. Uh, way yeah it has nicer. a better codec it's it, more efficient it's like you can if you miss the scene you can immediately rewind and then just click on live and be up to date again it's like so so nice and convenient i love it anyway we had great games today thank you all for watching um yeah despite the little hiccups we had uh, at the start of the day it went rather well so this is how it ends uh, yep. Thanks again, Artisan, for sponsoring, of course. I should have mentioned it probably a few times more often, but yeah. Uh, yes. Good uh, night. Good fight. Yeah. Bye-bye.